Welcome to a video about Arco install. If you have never heard about Arco install, which is rather new, right? Downloads this thing here that flips, tells you that we have uh, possibilities to download here in SourceForge and so many places like the Netherlands. And you'll find that there is now a new guy and the torrents will be uploaded shortly. So this guy is created the mid February. A few days back so if you get this one in it is called Arch Linux that is strange basically it's Arco install sorry Arco, oh sure sure let's let's use the search right Arco install info let's see what happens Arco install info, we get this, we get that. And here we are actually at the page I would like to go to. So what is Arco install? It's something that you built. We can build it for you, but you can build it yourself. So it's on the Arclinux B. Build your own ISO, Arco install. And here is the information what it exactly entails. It's basically the Arch Linux ISO. And it's basically our awesome. This is the Arch Linux. Arch Linux. Arch Linux setup. All the rest here is our setup, our XFCE, our Sway, our ChatWM, our DK. So these are all configs, things that in this uh, today, right, this year, 27 desktops. But there are more, but things get old or break. and it's about 30 ish desktops that we have um, had <laughs> but 27 are the ones without frustration they just work so we have this iso and what is new we have added oops we have added niri to the list so if you have a virtual machine like this one for example you download the iso and you go and update it or install it again so arco install this one that's the one you're gonna receive yes that's the one you're gonna get the one from 16 you open this particular iso download it from the sources you'd like and then you need to of course in my case it was already tested i'm gonna reboot into firmware i need to boot from the cd-rom it's called arch for a reason we are building the Arsenix ISO, but we're changing one thing, and that's the script to install Arch. The script that in is, is, is called Arch install, and we have just renamed to Arco install. That's it, right? So we know the difference, but it is the same thing. So we still run it with Arch install. It's the app that's still the same. It, the ISO is different. Arco install we call the ISO but the end result it is practically right it is it is harsh <laughs> basically you need to to set your keys that's one thing the guys who are also from Belgium will say great Eric that you made an alias BE that's it and then there is the arch install advanced and those who want to go to the Arch install in advanced, do Control C, type Arch. Same thing, also an alias. And then off you go, right? From if you've watched a few videos, you'll know what I'll do. I'll go to PE Latin, Miris from Sweden. And actually installing this is super fast, right? The rollout. It's super easy, super simple. If you watched a few videos, we keep I keep everything as is. So system boot is good, and then the root password is important. So there are other videos. Oops, that's my mistake. Escape again. Confirm and exit. Profile, and this is the difference between previous ISO. So you can install awesome you see the long list then you know yeah that's the setup 
of Hercules as well as well as well as well as well no what's this just that not from us right pure arch deeping pure arch GK from us tusk and so on enlightenment we keep away from it it's pure arch gnome herbs luft let's just go through all the list of all the packages so you know that is basically all changed and what we're gonna install is Niri. So that's the latest newest guy. I'm gonna use Polkit as seat. Graphics driver, yeah, it's virtual box, doesn't really matter. And then greeter as it default is okay. But it does matter, of course, on other systems. You check it out. This is what gets installed. This is nothing changed, right? This is not from us. This, this is Arch. If you wanna know the GitHub URL, it's github.com Arch Linux Arch install. That's when you need to ask questions or uh, yeah ask for more functionality for example why can't i do this what is this message what is this error that's where you need to go parallel downloads so 30 because of our advanced we have the parallel download we want to say not one download but 30 downloads time zone brussels save configuration no escape install yes gone come on <laughs> and off we go it's super easy we just have to sit back enjoy the ride and as you see all these little pac-man guys these little seas right eating away the cheese <laughs> but there are 30 of them 30 parallel downloads will this install your system faster try it all depends where you live of course how fast your internet is what are you paying for that's the speed you're gonna get and keep reading right just keep looking at the code and say okay what is micro code arch linux of arch wiki microcode keep doing this the first few years and gradually like everybody else rereading the pages of arch wiki again and again till you get it because it's complicated right it used to be complicated for any of us who start and that's the only difference right a noob or somebody that's been longer in Linux that's the difference we just read more watched more videos tried more failed more happens right let's pause the video a little bit A quick message here, the font, no font found, etc. Right, it's a choice that Arch Linux makes. And sometimes these messages are just what it is, a message. Uh, but not anything, not a deal breaker, right? So if that's done, you just reboot your system. And Niri is actually a Wayland thing, which I would not recommend to install in VirtualBox. But what do we see? It's actually awesome. In VirtualBox, it works super fast. There's no difference between VirtualBox actually and Real Metal. Now I'm including this black screen, right? Because in so many things in Linux, it's knowledge. So right control F, I have a black screen. Why is he saying? That's so great. Claw, close. Power of the machine. Go to the settings. Go to display. Enable 3D acceleration. Click. OK. Run. Right control F again to full screen. We have our beautiful SDM. 
Okay, they could improve on that. And there we are. Control T. Super Enter. Super Q. Not gonna work because Azerti, Querti, right? The guys on, of Belgium, if you wanna have an Azerti key, give me a Zerti Neri. Only for the guys who have an Azerti keyboard. And then it's even a Belgian Azerti key. There's differences. So Super Q, Super Shift Q, Super D, Escape, Super Shift D, Escape, uh, what else? Super X to log out, Escape, Ctrl Alt F if Firefox is installed, Ctrl Alt V if Vivaldi is installed, Ctrl Alt G if Chromium is installed, Ctrl Alt E if the Arch Linux 3 tool is installed. The E from Eric. All right. At the beginning, it's all gray. Quit. Ctrl Alt E. Looks around and it finds out it's basically on a dark theme. And now everything is set. So there we are. Um, Niri is something to have a look at. I suppose the best way to do is, guys, have a look. GitHub Niri. And see what you can find about Niri. But uh, Niri Tiling Winner Manager. Oh, yeah, sorry. DWM maybe. Voila. That's where you need to go. A scrollable Tiling Wayland Compositor. Have a look. Read, read, read. Wiki, wiki, wiki. Right. Have a look at what it says. A lot of information here, a lot of things to read, to set and discover a new configuration and new ways to, to deal with um, things, right? It is a Wayland thing. That means that not all apps will work on Wayland. And you have a deal breaker, then you have a deal breaker, then you go back to X11, right? Now, what else did we do here as well? We, if we're on VirtualBox, we'd like to have um, well, first of all, in general, aliases, right? Have a look at all the aliases we have. That's one thing. But there is also applications that are specifically interesting because of the fact that they start with a certain word. So Arclix is one of those words. Arclix, tap. So we have here lots of uh, things. Arclix fix, Arch Linux mirrors. Uh, Pacman conf, um, but I'm gonna look for the Niri thing that I like to do. There's remove as well. So this is nothing related to Niri. This I think is voila. At VirtualBox guest utils is not related to Niri as such, but to VirtualBox, as you see, there's a lot of black around my window here. And it's okay in XFCE or Plasma or Cinnamon, etc., to set the screen to 1920 on 1080. But it's so much more difficult, certainly if you're beginning in Linux, to set it so you can see something. But now we have this, voila, we have this little script that goes over, whoosh, give me a full screen, basically. So that's interesting. The SDDM was also uh, strange. How uh, strange it was the default from uh, from SDDM or KDE or Plasma, whatever you want to say. And um, there is also an, an option there. And let let me have a look. I saw it earlier on here to my left or right screen. Better. It's gonna be called get. So another word is get. Tap tap. And we can get the Linux Cache OS from Caltech Repo. We can get Nemesis on Arch Linux. We can get Nemesis on ATT. And that's the one, right? If you don't like the blue thing in the beginning there, SDM theme, you click on this thing, get that. Super X logout. Any system out there, not just uh, Nidia. It's just this is about SDM, nothing else. And uh, it should show me something, but it seems he's um, reluctant in showing me anything at all. 
there's only one quick button great button to remember right control r is reset right and virtual box doesn't really matter on real metal uh, don't do that right don't unplug from the electricity just like that but here who cares it's a virtual machine so this is sdm simplicity just by typing in get sdm simplicity it's set automatically there's much more technical things about it but it's all done automatically so now we have a beautiful uh, login theme and now it's up to you to explore this particular nice system that can easily change from bar all right cheers